Olga box clips. How about Alpha Omega settings? These are, you notice this Alpha Omega pretty much called a, a nice little pivot turn bottom here. Let's, let's go into the settings here for this. This is, again, one of those that's uh, way more effective down on the absolute lowest time frames. You guys want to copy my settings? Here's what I have put in. Um, I adjusted this over the weekend. So right here, I do have global horizontals and verticals turned on. Number of horizontals going back. I'm not interested in things too far back. You may want this is one of the only ones you may want to do more of. If you want to do maybe 10, maybe 20. The default out of the box is 50, which is basically going to show you everything for a significant period of time backwards. And if you're trying to do back testing, you may want to increase that. But since I'm doing this in real time, I really only want the most recent information showing up for me. Um, because again, I'm trying to, uh, some people don't really understand what we're doing here. Um, we're trying to capture things intraday. We are capturing things when things come out of balance, when we've got an opportunity, the market drops a bag, we're picking it up. Um, we're not trying to, you know, capture the entire pie. We are trying to catch pieces out of the middle. Uh, we'll go over that a little bit more later. But here are the swing strengths. I'm sorry, I just said swing strength. I'm so used to saying swing strength. Um, this is not a swing strength threshold. This is simply a multiplier threshold. Um, low and high. So what is this? Um, you will see a color change on the high. So what we've done the same way for our dots, pink and blue is our association for the highest levels of something showing up on your chart. So a pink or blue would indicate a high strength threshold there. Um, and if you see a 20, I'm just going to say you almost always, you will see almost a, uh, a certain pivot point turn. Um, I put this slightly lower than that because I have seen about an 18.5 that had a significant turning point. So this is specifically on the NASDAQ. You will need to fine tune this for other instruments. You know, I'll show you guys in a whole separate video on how you can do that. Basically, you know, you have to play with it. These are, these are one of the few items in our toolbox where you need to play with this. Um, this is optimizable on your own to basically play with this setting and you know adjust accordingly. I would say find a major pivot point on your chart and then look to see what the most near uh, the nearest alpha omega was around that and then basically mark that as your high or your low depending on if you want that to be a significant color or not. If you don't want color changes then you know make this one make this value very high and then just set this to a high like if you only want highs then put this up to 18 right here and then set this up to something stupid like 50. Um, you could do that as well. Press the like button, share, subscribe, and comment below with your thoughts and what you've learned.